Hey, what's up guys? Sanjay from Tech Respect here to review uh, a ROM. It's been a while since I've reviewed a ROM, but this ROM is Codec ROM 8.6 SE for um, the Galaxy S3. Um, this is actually a really um, zippy and fast ROM. It has a really good ar aroma installer. So you have uh, the choice of kernels, uh, themes, and uh, a lot of things, things that you can choose from. So um, definitely a ROM that we should look at. So let's take a look. Alright, so if you choose, uh, you've got a choice in themes. I have chosen the ICS uh, or um, jelly bean theme here. Uh, as you can see, there's already a new version, but I've been testing this for a little over a week, uh, which is usually what I uh, feel like I should do. But, um, this has the uh, jelly bean theme, as you can see we've got this uh, the, the clear uh, clear notifications uh, button over there and the settings button with the jelly bean uh, font and uh, status bar. Quick settings are, is, seems to be taken from Samsung and other uh, jelly bean based ROMs. Um, but uh, as, when you get here you start to see uh, similarities uh, to the Samsung TouchWiz interface a little bit, uh, but if we go to the, I'm running the SIA kernel and uh, the ROM version, and as you can see, everything it's based on uh, Android Jelly Bean. Uh, still not 4.2 because uh, of course the Galaxy S3 does not have any leaks or anything of that sort from Android 4.2, considering it just came out. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the ROM. So the ROM is uh, Deodex Zipline, it comes uh, rooted just like most other ROMs, so um, that stays the same. And uh, in the Aroma installer you can pick, uh, choose to install uh, like the messaging, the messaging app, uh, the camera from the Nexus 4 uh, with uh, Photosphere and uh, all those cool stuff. But uh, there really have been a couple of problems with those things, I've written them down here, but uh, okay, definitely have a problem with... Uh, the wallpaper chooser that is a huge thing I was trying to pick my wallpaper I usually so have. I usually have my uh, wallpaper um, a different wallpaper for my lock screen and a different wallpaper for my uh, my home screen but uh, as you can see if I go to my home screen I get to be I, I get to choose from the gallery and um, the wallpaper chooser apex launcher uh, whatever I want right but if I go to lock screen, I only get to choose from uh, the, the stock wallpapers from Samsung. And if I go to home and lock screen, then I get to choose, again, live wallpaper or the stock wallpapers. So that's a bit of a problem. I'm not sure if you guys would run into so, that. So um, other um, problems I've had with the Nexus 4, uh, with the Nexus 4 built-in uh, apps, of course, um, is that I've got a problem with the messaging app where... I'm not going to open it up, but um, we have, uh, instead of a thread for every contact who messages me, I have a new thread for every message I get. I'm not sure, again, if this is a known issue, but um, it's some uh, something to be concerned about. It's very cluttered in there and uh, um, very disappointing, but uh, obviously it's not the ROM's fault again, so um, you should definitely uh, think about that before installing. Uh, one thing to note is that we do have a new um, a new ROM available. There was a notification a little while ago. We have uh, a Codec ROM version 9 uh, available now. So uh, definitely could be fixed. It might be fixed, but um, it's hard to say. I have not been able to load it up yet. And the final issue, again, is from the Nexus 4 stuff. It's a camera issue. I have found that the camera does not take as good pictures, or um, also, uh, it's very stuttery and laggy. Um, and there's a bit of artifacting and uh, uh, just an unpleasant experience. So when you're um, when you're installing this ROM with the Neroma installer, just uh, just opt out from from the Nexus 4 uh, apps and uh, just put in the stock apps definitely work well and um, uh, we have this nice theme going on for uh, for all the Google AOSP uh, all the Google apps and the theming is also visible in the Google Play Store and um, 
pretty much all Google apps, like I said before. Um, so all around, this is a really fast and speedy ROM. It's very nice to use, very fluid. Uh, just stay away from the Nexus 4 uh, apps for now. Um, maybe try them out in the new uh, the new ROM that just came out. Um, and uh, you should be happy with this ROM. You might not even have to update your ROM for a while. It's showing some lag now, but um, that's probably something that's just happening for the camera. Uh, but anyway, uh, mess around and experiment with the aroma options before making and setting up your phone. Uh, that's the best way to go with uh, aroma installers. Uh, find the perfect kernel that you like, uh, find the perfect launcher you like, and uh, just set up your phone after. Um, so that's about it for this review of Codec ROM uh, 8.6 SE. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.